What's up guys, welcome to your fifth tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro. In this tutorial we're going to be uh, going over basic audio, changing uh, the volume, and also showing you how to fade in and out of audio tracks. So before we get started, I just wanted to tell you guys, make sure that you're watching this video in high def. If you look over in uh, the more information on the right hand of your screen, I'll have a link and you can watch this video on high def. It's about a hundred times more clear and uh, you'll appreciate it. So once you're in that, then uh, you can continue with this video. The first thing that we're going to want to do with the audio is change the volume. Now to do this, go down to where your audio is and make sure that it's expanded. If it's collapsed like this, just click the little right arrow until it expands. Now this yellow bar right here is the volume of your audio. Now make sure you have your selection tool. And if you click and drag that, you can either raise the level up to, well it's probably different, but mine can go up to 6 or down and all the way down is no audio at all. So let's just put that right in the middle for now. Actually, I'm going to put mine a little higher than in the middle. And by moving that yellow bar, you can either raise or, or lower the volume of your audio. And this is uh, how if you have more than one tracks, you can raise one or lower the other. And you can do that uh, varying depending on your scene. Now, another thing that you're going to be wanting to do a lot is fade in and out with your audio. So to do this, we're going to be working with this yellow bar still. Go over here to your tool panner, panel and click this thing called the pen tool. You can also press P, but I like to click it. So go ahead and click that and you can now see that your pen tool is highlighted. And when you move over your yellow bar, it's a little pen shape. Now to fade the audio, we're going to have to make keyframes just like we did with fading the title. But we do this by holding control on your keyboard. Or uh, I think it's that little curvy symbol if you're using a Mac. But uh, hold down control on your keyboard. And as you can see, your little pen tool now has a plus sign next to it. When you let go, it has the two arrows. When uh, you hold down control, it has a plus sign. What this means is you're ready to add a keyframe. That's what control means. So go ahead and click the very beginning. And as you can see, we now have added a keyframe. Let's uh, add a couple more on the line. I'm uh, going to add one right about there, right about there, and right about there. Now let go of control, and your pen will now have double arrows. And this means that you can move your keyframes around. Now once you highlight a keyframe, your pen's going to have a little circle next to it. And this means that you're on the keyframe and you're it's ready to move around. So let's start out moving this keyframe down all the way. And this means our, our uh, movie is going to start out at no sound whatsoever. Then I want it to get real loud in about 3 seconds. So it's going to fade from nothing to really loud. And then I want it to fade to nothing again. And then I want it to fade to real loud again. Now usually you're just going to be fading um, in slightly. But for the purpose of this video I want to make sure you hear it fade in and out. So move your uh, current time indicator or CTI to zero. And uh, let me see if you can hear this. And play it. Hey, finally recording something. There you go. I didn't know if you guys could hear that, but I'll walk you through uh, it one more time as I show you what's going on down here. Let me play this. As you can see, it builds up right now. Then it fades down to no sound whatsoever. And then it goes up to normal again. And again, if you want to delete one of these keyframes, just select it, right click it, and press delete. And you can do that with each of them. Let's say if you accidentally added an extra one. Or you just want to get rid of one. 
and of course if you delete them all it starts all the way over again so that's how you edit the audio and also change the volume and fade in and out with the audio track so study this tutorials and make sure you're watching these videos in high def and i hope you learned something and uh... i'll see you next tutorial